In this video, I'm going to talk about the chirality of pharma pharmaceutical substances. Many pharmaceuticals are, are chiral. This means that they have a mirror image and they are different from their mirror image. In an ideal situation, only one enantiomer of a pharmaceutical is biologically active and the other is biologically inactive. But when both of the enantiomers are biologically active, we have to be careful because one of the enantiomers might be harmful. If this is the case, the enantiomers must be physically separated from each other before they're passed on to the consumer. The most tragic example of a harmful enantiomer making its way to the consumers is a substance called thalidomide. Thalidomide was an over-the-counter medication used in the 1950s for the treatment of nausea. Pregnant women used thalidomide to treat morning sickness, but unfortunately, one of the enantiomers of thalidomide caused birth defects. Currently, thalidomide is only available by prescription and for the treatment of multiple my myeloma, not to use for the treatment of nausea in pregnant women. The other examples of enantiomers in pharmaceuticals are not as tragic as thalidomide. For example, ibuprofen has an active and inactive enantiomer. The inactive enantiomer, because it's inactive, is not harmful to the body. Both of the enantiomers are present in ibuprofen because the body actually converts the inactive enantiomer to the active enantiomer, makes it useful. Naproxen, another over-the-counter medication, pain medication, also has an enantiomer. However, the enantiomer of naproxen is a liver toxin, so it is not packaged up with naproxen. The enantiomers are separated before they make their way to the consumer. And one last example of a chiral pharmaceutical is L-DOPA. L-DOPA is converted in the brain to dopamine, which is used to treat Parkinson's disease. The enantiomer of L-DOPA is not biologically active, um, so it could be given to patients because it doesn't do any harm, although it also doesn't do any good because the body cannot convert it to dopamine.